All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakudash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's who for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And um, this one, I don't have a title yet, but you know, I'm thinking of Isaiah 32, 32nd chapter. And in this video, Brother Shapal in the camp. I saw his, he posted this on his page. And uh, it just shows you that, look, man, you women, okay, as the scriptures say. Matter of fact, let me get it. This is Isaiah chapter 32, verse 9. It says, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. All right. Being at these protests and these riots and all these things are happening, you know, they already talked on the news you know, weeks ago, about how there's a shortage of food, meats, all right? They said pork, which you shouldn't be eating that anyway, all right? But beef, you know, uh, you also got to continue to look for that, that um, what you call it, the hyperinflation is going to happen, okay? This, basically, this economy is going to crumble, man, all right? We're in Bible prophecy. This is the end of the world, which means the end of Esau's kingdom, all right? And uh, these things are going to play out. All right. So while we headed toward, we're headed in that direction, the scriptures, all right, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh teaches us on how to be the stable in this day. And this one is for, the, for you women. All right. Now you got a few sisters out there that do watch, you know, sincere, you know, continue to keep doing what you're doing. All right. And then you got the two thirds, all right, of the Israelite women. That's just beasts, wildebeest, monsters. All right, as the scriptures say, they bring forth monsters. So this is Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. And the Lord is calling you Israelite women careless. All right, a lot of these Israelite women, two-thirds, you know, they're careless with their children. Their children get shot down. You know, they pushes the man out the house, all right, to where there's no father figure. Now your son is growing up with emotions like carrying from his mother, you know, his aunties and cousins. The Lord said, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice. What's the voice? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And right now, the Lord is speaking through his prophets, okay? It says, ye careless daughters give ear unto my speech. What speech is that? The scriptures. Not the Quran, all right? Not the Christianity that the government teach being a Baptist, Pentecost, all right? Learning who you are as a people, all right? And knowing the name of the Lord and following his ways, okay? It says, many days and years ye shall be troubled, ye careless women, for the venture shall fail and the gathering shall not come. All right, so before I finish this scripture up, I wanna play some of this video here, you know? So let's go. Buy something, because I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a thief. Look at this. In my hood, can't even get no food for my kids. Look at how they did this store. Every store in my community looks like this right now. Every store in my community looks like this right now. I feel like a fucking rat in a sewer, G. I feel like a fucking rat in the sewer. Shit is pathetic. And being at these riots and protests tore these stores up, you know, there's already a famine, a shortage of food coming. So that means that the famine of the word is coming. Matter of fact, I got to get that one, that scripture. All right. And uh, listen to what she say, man. You know, she speaks on how she said everywhere in her community, I guess her city, you know, where she at, all the stores look like this, the supermarkets, you know. And I can't even buy nothing in here because ain't nobody at the register. It's pitiful. I feel like a fucking animal, G. I feel like an animal. Babies need milk. Can't even get nothing for my kids, bro. I feel like an animal. And black people made me feel like an animal. Y'all did this to us. Yeah, yeah. You know, black people. And guess what? You so-called Negroes, all right? You so-called Haitians and West Indians, you're not black. All right, you Puerto Ricans, you're not black. We're Israelites. And what happened is uh, we did a lesson um, 
this uh, this week, maybe a week ago, uh, on a sit down with the camp on um, how Jake, you know, they um, how I go, they um, they bite the bait but miss the hook, sort of around that lines. Basically, you you two thirds, you get you got duped. All right, you thought you had this protest, you know, and and this voice. But meanwhile, Esau orchestrated the whole thing with, agi with uh, paid agitators, all right, pro uh, agent provocateurs, and you dumbass uh, uh, two thirds done tore up your own shit, you know? So that's what she's talking about. Look at this. Look at this. Ain't no meat, no nothing. Everything on the floor. Can't even get my mama her medicine. Right there. And look, meanwhile, she's filming, and you see someone right there, even still looting, you know, taking whatever they want. Now she said some. She said that she's not able to get her her, mo her mother the her medicine. So it's a lot of you Israelites that's going to die, man. All right, when you can't get your medicine to function straight, you know, to be considered so-called normal. All right, you're going to die, man. And that's what's coming. You know, this is that's a lot of money being destroyed, man. But anyway, you know, that's a lot of food right there and water, things that could be used, you know, while you're in a famine, man, because you just brought a famine on yourself. And I think, I don't know what city she at. She mentioned something about Indiana, you know. So, you know, even from here, I'm gonna make this short. I don't think I have too much memory on my phone. I gotta delete some videos, but let's get back to the scripture. All right, this is Isaiah 32 and 10. It says, many days and years ye shall be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail, and the gathering shall not come. Let me see something. Okay, I wanted to look this word vintage. All right, this is vintage. All right, this is in the et etymology. Vintage. It says harvest of grapes. All right, let's get to the point. It says um, stem. It says basically a gathering of grapes yield of grapes stem of demir take off away from mere to take to take distribute all right so this word vintage okay means to what to uh from away emir to take to take distribute you know basically you know it's made for it's called a, you know a vineyard but what you do in the vineyard you know in the harvest of grapes you know, you take and you eat. So the Lord said, the vintage shall fail. All right. Meaning the benefits. All right. That you eat from the harvest. You know, this government and based of these uh, government benefits that they give. Section eight. OK. Um, uh, 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 housing. Uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, child support and so on. It says, many days and years ye shall be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Meaning that harvest is not going to be ripe for you to eat from. Okay, you're not going to be able to have it easy the way that you've been having it. Alright, so I just want to go to it one more time. It says, vintage, harvest of grapes, yield of wine from the vineyard. Uh, getting to the point, stem of demir. Well, it says a gathering of grapes, yeah, yield of grapes, stem of demir take off from away from a mere to take, okay, to take, distribute, all right, so you can't eat. Let's go back to this, this is Isaiah 32 and 10, many days and years ye shall be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble ye women that are at ease, be troubled ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. All right, so the Lord said tremble, man. You're supposed to be trembling and, um, you know, being being in fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's Mashapat, which is Yahweh's judgment. All right, so it says tremble ye women that are at ease, 
And a lot of you Israelite women, well, you two thirds, all right, are at ease. It says, be troubled. You're supposed to be troubled. You're supposed to be shooken up. All right. It says, you careless one, strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. So it's so you're supposed to be mourning right now. All right. Crying out to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh All right. So let me get one more scripture. This is uh, Amos chapter 8 and 11. It says, uh, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Now, this is not the famine of food and water, but, is, but of hearing the word of the Lord. And why I pulled this scripture? Because it does go hand, hand in hand. All right. The Lord is going to start bringing a famine, but also not just on food and water, but on his word. So how are you going to be able to cry out when you don't know the Lord? Uh, Apostle Paul said, um, he said, um, uh, how, uh, how would they uh, roughly paraphrase? How will you know the Lord except you be taught? All right. Roughly paraphrasing. So if the Lord take away the famine. OK, excuse me. If the Lord take brings us brings us a famine of food and water, but also brings us a famine on his word. Where brothers, the prophets, the teachers, apostles can't go out and teach, the elders. All right, then guess what? That's just destruction, man. And we're, we're, we're approaching that. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. All right, when they cut that internet switch, all right, when it's really real, real anarchy, you know, sedition of men, the sedition among men come forth. All right, it's gonna happen, man. It says, verse 12, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord Yahweh and shall not find it. All right, and that's why the Lord said, they shall seek me early, okay? But he's not gonna answer you. Going into what, uh, what's that, Proverbs? I'll get it real quick. Proverbs 1. Matter of fact, I'm going to read this one. This is uh, Proverbs 1 and 27. When the, fear of the, when the fear cometh as desolation and destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I would not answer. They shall seek me early but they shall not find me, all right? For they, excuse me, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, all right? So rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear the Lord's voice, you careless daughters, all right? For the vantage shall fail, all right? So, you know, you could watch the brother's uh, video put up. I posted it to the channel as well, Brother Chappal. All right, and uh, watch the rest of this video. I'll leave a link as well. So, you know, I hope you were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.